Can you please explain to me why the United States money has these images on it? When you take the United States money and fold it in the exact same way on each different denomination, you will get a set of imagery. And what is this imagery of? Well, you tell me. Now, some of you have seen this information, and this is actually what this video is not about. But for anyone with any logical or common sense, they can see that this imagery is about the Twin Towers falling. As you look at it closer, it's all different stages of the Twin Towers that fell on 9-11. You may wonder, how in the world would this imagery end up on the dollar bill? Well, you just simply have to look at who printed the dollar bill to understand how it ended up there and the ramifications thereof. This video is actually about this new $10 bill and exactly what it means. As you, what you're looking at here, you can see you have what looks to be some buildings. Well, as a matter of fact, if you look at it real close, you can see you have seven stories of building above ground and you have three, four, five, or whatever stories of buildings of floors below ground. And then up on top of the building, you have something coming over the top of the seven-story building. I'm going to show you what that means. Now, in order to make complete logical sense out of what I'm trying to show you here, you need to look, pay attention carefully. You can see that there are several floors that look like they're below ground and then you can see the first level there that is uh, like the first floor and if we start counting from there and count up one two three four five six seven we have seven floors that look like they would be partially or completely above ground and then we have something on top that's coming across the top of the building so you have what I believe is represented as water is pouring over the top of a seven-story building. Now why is this so interesting? Well, one is we know what this meant. So let's take a closer look at these so you can see what I'm showing you. Let's do it real quickly. So you can see here that you have a set of twin towers, side-by-side -side buildings. And you can see each of the images to the right of that will show at different levels, different time periods of the destruction of the Twin Towers at different periods where they were falling. You see that one that's in the middle right now at the top? The image that is in your brain right now from those buildings falling almost looks identical to that, doesn't it? And all of these other ones fit as well. How about these ones here on the right? See, they knew 50 years ago that these towers were going to come down and they were going to do it. So what are they going to do next? I'm going to show you. Within the next five minutes, if you will take five more minutes and watch this video, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to make it up, I'm going to show you in a way that is undeniable, undeniable, that what their intentions are is, is to use nuclear warheads to set off earthquakes and then therefore tsunamis on the east coast and the west coast of the United States, particularly the two most highly populated areas in the United States, New York City, and like the Cal uh, Southern California area, like San Francisco, uh, down to like LA. Okay, I'm gonna also show you. I'm gonna show you in in, in several ways. I'm gonna show it to you, and you're gonna go, "I can't believe it." He's right. And then I'm gonna show it to you in several other ways to show you the high level of surety that I am as that this is their plan now understand I don't want to be right 
let's just say I hope I'm crazy okay however I don't believe I'm crazy matter of fact I know I'm not crazy so we've got a problem here we have a serious problem where millions of people are getting ready to die I'm not sure of the date I have my suspicions but millions of people they're gonna send in a wall of water seven stories tall okay they've done the math they know they've, they've got experience you see the uh, disaster in front of you they've got experience you might say with producing tsunamis with nuclear weapons um, they've done it several times at this point and you may say oh no no that's wrong that's wrong and that's fine let's say I'm wrong but what I'm getting ready to show you I am not wrong about and you're gonna agree and of course you're gonna always you could uh, say the sky is blue and find people that would say it was green or whatever you understand you're always gonna have somebody to say and plus you, you know I've always got a few hundred trolls and shields that are gonna come in and say anything about whatever but by the end of this video you're gonna get it and purpose of this video is, is to out these satanic child molesting murderous slave driving freaks for what they are now I'm going to take you on a little journey okay journey as to how I I the short version of how this all come to me and all the different pieces okay we're all familiar well not all of us some of us this kind of information is completely new for you completely shocking and you're figuring I have to be crazy okay take a look at my channel look at my channel I have nearly 30 thousand subscribers you think if I was just totally crazy that I'd have 30,000 subscribers talking about this kind of stuff nobody would listen but I have 30,000 subscribers and I'm not crazy so listen up here you see this card before you here it is showing a tsunami coming up and going over a large city right obviously an ocean tsunami over a large city tidal wave now why is this what is this I mean is this a child's game what is this this is a this is a set of card games called the Illuminati card game that was produced back in in 1990 I think it was 1995 uh, 91 or 95 I think it was 95 and this is actually the card game itself right here now most to 95 percent of what I'm going to show you the fact that it shows that tsunami that tidal wave on that card is near none of the proof that I'm going to show you I have solid absolute clear evidence proof that this is what they are planning to do I have finally nailed it down and I've spoken about potential of this before but I'm bringing this back to you because it has gotten serious folks I mean these guys it's on the table now I mean I don't I would not want to be in New York City or LA right now tonight anytime soon I mean it's on the table uh, somebody's fingers literally warming up to get on the button if you know what I'm saying so anyways here you have the card game it was a huge stack of cards that were used as a playing card game that you could actually play had a set of rules there's the rule book man at the bottom <coughs> and you could play this game thing is is that the person who put this this card game out was an Illuminati insider a family member a world elite family member someone in the know and he decided to put out a card game that in a childlike manner so no one would take it serious to demonstrate graphically what they have planned for you and for us now take a look at these cards right here these are three cards many of you have seen these okay 
And again, the cards have very little to do with the proof. This is just, I'm taking you down a road of a story as to how I come to the point to where now I am seriously saying, get the hell out of New York City and out of Los Angeles. Matter of fact, anywhere on the coastline close to there, because we're talking, we're talking a 100 foot tall tidal wave coming in. At or greater, what came into Japan. In Japan, water came in as much as six miles and as much as 120 feet high. Okay? What's that? That's about seven stories. Seven stories. It's amazing that it happens to be seven stories. It's about the approximately the height of the, the ones that came in from there. And there's a reason why I'm saying seven stories. One is because it's on the money. And then as I get to go through the rest of this this uh, information with you, you'll see that the seven stories is being verified multiple ways. Okay? Now, the people in charge, if this, is, if this game is new to you, the people in charge of everything, you know, like our country, the ones that at least think they're in charge because we've allowed them to believe they have the authority. They know. And, you know, to give them credit, they do put it right in our face. It's right in your face right now. You see the wave? Obama put the wave in this freaking logo. See the wave over the ocean? With a big hump like a tsunami. Yeah. Of course, that's just a coincidence, you know. That's just, just a coincidence. And Obama, he did to his credit. He went and, He went swimming took photos and formed himself into the position of looking like a, a, a wave. I don't know if you're aware or have spent much time in the ocean, but it would be nearly impossible to actually get this photo to work. It would have to be so carefully staged and rehearsed to make this photo work where he is body surfing so freaking well, both his arms out of the damn water. He's literally being propelled by held up out of the water a couple of inches. This is impossible without being staged, okay? But to Obama's credit, he has told you. He has done his duty to not lie. He's told you by a picture. He said, damn it, I put it on my logo. I gave you a photo of me forming a, a tsunami. You should have got the freaking hint. So I, he gave you another stage shot, clearly staged shot, showing you the city, I mean showing you the wave coming and splashing up over his head, symbolizing the city or the people. Let me guess, you don't, you don't actually think that they took their time and took these shots intentionally. You think that what I'm saying is made up bull. Well, I hope you don't live in New York City or L.A. Because there's going to come a day here real soon when you're going to find out. And this is just the edge of what I've got to show you. Just the edge. So, man, I made my logo even a little bit more specific for you when I went on my Hawaii trip I showed you that there's a wave coming that my logo means a wave you get it and yes I'm taking this video in the way I'm speaking very seriously very direct and I'm pointing at you because my job is to inform you and save as many lives and as many souls on this planet that I possibly can. That's why I do this. Think I'm just having fun? How fun do you really think this is? You see it there? Okay. 
the Pepsi Cola Company, the super rich elites that own the Pepsi Cola Company with about every other food main food manufacturer out there, all they're all owned by the same people. They even they went ahead and put it on the logo on the Pepsi. So that way when you turned it to your head, you would be able to see the damn wave coming at you. And you still ain't got it yet. And you're still not sure if I'm full of shit or not. And Pepsi, this is from Pepsi. You see down there in the very far right-hand corner, Dare for More. They even went further to show you their logo is a wave. Here's their logo represented again in one of their advertisements. <clears throat> they took the same advertisement, changed it around a little bit for you, and showed you the wave. See, it says Dare for More with the Pepsi logo in the bottom right. It's a friggin' tsunami coming, people. If you live in New York or L.A. or on the east or west coast close to those areas, you should be shitting in your boots. And the, to their credit, they've put it all over everything, you know. Even here's the Google Doodle from last year. Because this, this is something I've been researching for. It's been over a year, probably two years, something like that. And if you look at this Google Doodle... You know, we're talking cartoons again, people, so this is bullshit, right? Can't show nobody this because I'm trying to make you think the cartoons is going to kill you. Look up in the upper right-hand corner of this. The only thing, you look at this and you got a barbecue and you got games and uh, uh, different things going on. All looks normal. You got a guy mowing grass down there on the flag and... You got some people hanging a uh, Google um, banner across stuff like that. It all looks physically possible. Except for in the top right hand corner. The guy up high in the sky coming in on a tsunami. Surfing it. Oh well. You know. That could be a coincidence. So that means this whole video is bullshit. I'm wrong on this one. This one piece I'm wrong on. Maybe I'm wrong. So it makes the whole video bullshit. There ain't none of the rest of the stuff or none of the, the facts that are going to blow your friggin' mind here in a minute that I'm going to show you. They're not right either. So you might as well go ahead and pull your head out of this video and shove it down the friggin' toilet. Might as well drown yourself now if you live in New York City. Go ahead and get it over with. Keep listening. You might learn something here. They've given you sign after sign. There's Obama with his hand in the rainbow. No, this wasn't staged either. They didn't plan this. They didn't say, okay, you know, because we got this friggin' satanic death ritual planned for the East and West Coast because we want to kill about, what's the, what's the matter? 33 million. That would be the number, maybe. Maybe 33 or 88 million. Maybe it's 88 because they want to use Trump's 88 number. Don't know nothing about that. The 888 number that is Trump. Uh, we'll be getting into it. What is the number? How many they want to kill? How many they going to say they killed when they do it? Are you going to be one of the dead ones? You got the choice right now if you've heard the, if you've heard my words today, you don't have to die. Okay? They will swing, but you don't have to let them hit you. You can pull a rope of dope and get the hell out of their way. I, no matter how much I expose this and other people expose this uh, at different levels and quality of credibility and so on, I doubt they're going to stop. Um, every player in the world is in and on this. If they're running a country... They're in on it. They know about it. They know what's going down because they're all working together. Why would 10 men let one or two among them be a problem when all they had to do was get all get together, all 10, and then they could rule the whole damn world? But no, we can't get along, so therefore we can't rule the whole damn world. 
Does that make any sense to you? Now, here in a moment, I'm going to show you an article. I'm going to break it down, decode it in, in a fashion that some of you are starting to get familiar with, but this one's going to blow your mind. I mean, the writing is on the wall, people. Speaking of that, if I'm correct about this, they always tell you the truth up front. They let you know that this stuff is going to happen. They talked about 9-11 and showed you things that had to do with 9-11. 10, 15, 20 years in advance of 9-11, they were uh, showing you things that if you would have caught on to it, just like what we're doing right here, right now, we would know it was coming. We would have known 9-11 was coming. But see, this event is such a size, magnitude, and I so much out of the control, we can't just go down there and bulk a million people and say, no, you know, you're not doing this. You're not blowing these buildings down. It, don't, it won't work in this situation. You know, we can't. I don't know that there's anyone high enough in power that can stop this. I doubt it. You might say we're along for the ride. I hope I'm wrong. Please, God, please make me wrong. Please make me wrong about this whole damn video. None of us want this to happen. But if it was, they would be showing us, they'd be talking about it. They'd be forecasting this. They're like forecasting the weather. Well, you've got one report right there in front of you. This is just from a couple days ago uh, talking about tsunami. Here's another one. This was uh, dated uh, 12 December of 2016. Another tsunami. Here's another one from basically the same day. Uh, December 12th, 2016 at 6.26 p.m. Tsunami wiping out New York and Miami. If you go to Google, these are, there's hundreds of pages of them. The intensity of it has increased. They call this uh, pre-predictive programming. Basically, get you used to to the idea that something is possible so that that way when it happens you're not upset and point fingers and and you're not too surprised and it's like oh well well we knew it was coming you know they've they've put this stuff in movies after movies after movies over the years we've all seen them so why am I bugging out now you know why so I'm going to give you some concrete evidence now, okay? I've shown you just some of the things that make you go, hmm, over the years. And there's more, like, here, give me a couple more things. Here you go. So you probably, well, you probably don't remember this episode of The Simpsons, you know, where the show comes on. Every time the show comes on, they show you a different entry. Well, this one came on, and they're snorkeling and swimming into the living room. Nothing else was said about it. Why did you do that? To make the world a more magical place, I guess. Although they didn't go over and kill some people. Kill her? Really? Of course. Yeah. Well, you did. Yeah. Oh, they did. Oh, Dad, no, my point is you have to do something big and daring. Big and daring? Lisa, that's it. Now, step three. When this goes off, a lot of people are going to be dead. Um, and again, I hope I'm wrong. But what I'm showing you here is that 
the stuff, they put it in the cartoons, they put it in the movies, they put it everywhere to warn you. And we've all, a lot of us maybe, uh, uh, that have been paying much attention have, has went through our heads about this flooding of, uh, you know, a tsunami, this kind of thing, or nuclear bombs going off in various places around the country. Well, I think based on what I'm getting ready to show you, you're going to be able to understand and finally see what motivated me to do this video that there's real reason for concern at this point so let's uh, try to go ahead and move to that I think I've about got through everything here let me see okay so we're fixed to get we're fixing to go in we're fixing to go in deep I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna highly detail it I know you, at this point you're thinking you've uh, huffed and you've puffed, but you, well, and so you show me some interesting things. But where's the dagger sticking out the chest? Okay. All right. There's an event going on, or has been going on for the last month. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in New York City. Okay. It is called. Oh, well, it's called, it goes by a few different names, but Counting Sheep, okay? And the article that was written about it by the New York Times in, these, in December, it says, Flocks of sheep, seven stories tall, at the crossroads, crossroads of the world. We're going to go into this article I'm going to decode this for you. I'm going to show you what they are saying. I'm going to show you the easy way to decode it and know what they are saying. And what they are saying is what I've been saying. So hang on. This is, uh, this is going to be a rough ride. So flocks of sheep. Let's take a look at that first. We're going to go down the complete article pretty much, but start with flocks of sheep. We're going to decode it in a gematria calculator, a system of conversion of number, numbers and letters backwards and forth, a 10,000 year old system. Looks very simple and it is in a way, uh, but if you don't know about it or you weren't taught it in school, you would think, what the hell is this? Uh, this is horse crap. It's not. Trust me, and by the time I get done here, you're going to see it's not. So, flocks of sheep now each conversion is assigned a number as you can see there like uh, the Jewish gematria conversion 403 the English gematria equals 840 and the simple equals 140 now what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into the numbers which we have already and then we're going to convert it back into uh, either words or simple phrases that simply match it now if something that let's say flocks of sheep if it matched come up back that it matched Donald Trump that would be millions to one there's just because think of all every word and every uh, phrase combination out there there's millions of them and to, for it to come back and match something that makes any sense at all is shouldn't happen but what does flocks of sheep match let's take a look Matches World War Three. Pretty interesting, right? Matches that. Got a couple other matches as well that just happen to make sense. Revelations. Means to one. What else? Well, its display was up during Christmas. It was up during specifically for the Christmas holiday. And was up on Christmas Day. And Christmas Day is a match. Here's one that's not going to make sense to most of you yet, but it will in a minute. Triple eight. You know, like eight eight eight. Triple eight. Hmm. I'll show you in a few minutes what that really means. And it's really deep. Just keep my uh, let's say it's a reference to one thing it's reference to is Donald J. Trump. I'll show you in a minute.
Let's look at the second group of words, seven stories tall, that was in the article about the uh, ritual that was going on in New York City on all the television screens. Seven stories tall, so what would possibly match seven stories tall that, strangely enough, made sense? Well, Donald J. Trump, of course. And you'll notice his number is there, 888. Remember the 888 in the previous word? Ding, ding. Anybody home? What else? Nuclear weapon. Huh. Imagine that. Guys, these are millions to one matches. You can't make this up. I cannot make this up. You could just go pick up a... Go to your school. Okay? So that that way you know that the article is not encoded with Gematria. Get something out of an elementary school that a child wrote. Get something out of a high school that a child wrote so that you know it doesn't have Gematria encoded in it. And then take the words out of it like this and run it through this calculator and see what happens. I've done it. Nothing. It doesn't make no damn sense at all. But if it's encoded intentionally, like this article is, nuclear weapon, sudden destruction, how appropriate. How appropriate. Seven stories tall. Sudden destruction. And what about that seven stories? Remember this? This story is encoded on the money as well. The same story that I'm telling you now is on the $10 bill. Remember we counted out the seven stories? What about the counting sheep thing? What does it match up to? Well, 666, of course. Any of this starting to make sense to you? This ain't over with yet. I've just hung the lock on the gate. I've still got the keys. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to show you even more. Now, Tao Yarden is the person who put all this together, supposedly. Tao Yarden. Happen to have any matches for his name? The Final Trumpet. Or Final Trumpet. And if our timeline is correct, it'll make references to current events, like Turkey matching Tau Tardin. Now, where's this event taking place at? Times Square. You ever thought about the words Times Square? Why did he chose that? Well, one thing is it matches matches Freedom Tower. You know, even though it was uh, Twin Towers before and World Trade Center, now it's the Freedom Tower, and it was named Time Square a long time before the term Freedom Tower was ever invented, or you thought so anyways. Of course, they wanted to throw in um, a uh, I am Jesus Christ. Now, what's another way in Gematria to say I am Jesus Christ? Times Square. And one other. 888 again. 888 matches Times Square. Freedom Tower. Y'all guys starting to get this. This should be starting to come crystal clear. That I am on the money. Now what's so much about all of this 888 thing? What is this? Well, it is a, 
a reference in numbers or letters that is saying I am Jesus Christ and who is saying they are Jesus Christ or in other words 888 well it's Donald J Trump that's who then why do I say he's saying he he's the eighth baby well Donald Trump spent 88 million dollars of his own money on during his campaign Donald Trump had 88 offices 88 campaign offices across the United States during his campaign Donald Trump held 88 campaign events during his campaign and of course Trump itself the word by itself equals 88 and as I showed you Donald J Trump is 888 and the book that the Donald wrote called The Art of the Deal that he's always trumpeting about is 888 as well. And here's a clincher for you. Donald Trump's birthday, which is 6-14-2016 and 9-11. There are actually 88 days in between those dates. So from 6-15 to 910 is 88 days between Donald Trump's birthday and 911 why is that significant because my research has shown me that Jesus Christ actual birth date is 911 now you may not agree with that I and mean, that's fine but that doesn't make the other 50 things I've shown you incorrect. That's a speculation on my part based on. It's more than a speculation, actually. But I'll stand behind it. The fact that it's 88 days in between Donald Trump's birthday and 9 11 is still amazing. Now, who else says that Donald Trump is 88? And even told you that Donald Trump was going to be president before. He was president. And with that, I just have two more words to say. Obama out. <laughs> yes, that's right. Obama out is 88. Obama was saying right then and there, Trump was going to be president. Trump was going to be president for decades, people. Just like Obama was just like Clinton was all and everything you see that comes out of a television is a stage my friends all of it there is nothing that is not just a hoax you say well they tell me the weather is gonna rain and it rains I think you get what I'm saying to you okay now, do I have any more nails in the coffin? Yeah, I do. Donald J. Trump. What's J stand for? Huh. Because you won't find it in any of his material. You'll find it on a, in a, a fake birth certificate that's online. But you won't actually find it publicized. He's publicizing what his middle name is, the J. It's interesting, his mother's name is Mary and his father's name is Fred Christ. Trump. What else? Well, you've got, uh, of course, the 88 is put on everything that, a, that a Trump does. On all of his podiums, you can see the 88022, the 88022, and the 88022. It's in all of them. Now let's go ahead and let's, let's take a look at uh, the last two nails in the car. Now many of us know that there are buoy systems that would protect or give us warning against a tsunami that surround the United States and many countries throughout the world. However, you might find it shocking to know that, uh, as you can see, there are buoys and that's New York City where the arrow is pointing to. There are buoys to the north out in the ocean. And there are buoys to the south out in the ocean. 
But right off the coast of New York City, there are no buoys. There is no warning system right off the coast of New York City. Now there are buoys right up close to the coast, as you can see the yellows and the reds. However, those will only give you a few minutes warning. Just long enough to panic and kiss your ass goodbye. Not even long enough to run up the building to survive. You would need to have buoys further out there where that X is at in order to protect you from a tsunami, tsunami that was generated from approximately that location. None of the buoys around would protect you. By the time they were notified, the rippling out waves would be coming ashore. And you would be one drowned sheep to count. This is the, uh, this is the east coast now I've mentioned the West Coast. I'm concerned about the West Coast because Francisco is 88. California is 88. And I'm worried about Southern California. Let's look and see if it's protected. Oops, we forgot some friggin' buoys. It was federal cutbacks. You know, y'all guys wanted your taxes cut. So we forgot buoys for 5 and 10 and 20 and 50 miles out for Southern California. There are no buoys. Just the ones up to the shore, you know, where, you know, the kissing your ass goodbye thing. This is no coincidence, folks. This is a diabolical plan to kill millions of people in one swipe. A big fat satanic ritual just like they're doing with all the children pizza gate molesting and murdering thousands of children on an ongoing basis around the world and we ain't doing nothing about it but are we going to do something about this we shall see you've been told so do you think Obama was had a little message for you in his nice pose I think he did and I think if you have any logical sense in your freaking head right now I don't care who this is listening if you can't see this you have no eyes to see or ears to hear and you damn sure don't have any ability to use logic for authority.